So the Bible says, call upon the Lord while He is near. Seek the Lord while He may be found. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and return to the Lord for he is rich in mercy and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. The Bible says cleanse your hands you sinners, purify your hearts you double-minded, lament and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourself in the sight of God and He will lift you up. That is good news. Good news for those who are willing to repent. But uh, understand this also. The Bible says the Lord knows those who are His. Let all those who name the name of Christ depart from iniquity. That means if you claim to be a Christian, you better stop your sinning. See, uh, if you plan to live with God in His kingdom for all of eternity, Save the turtles. Uh, then uh, you better get used to it. Now, I agree. I agree. In about a week and a half, I'm going to be uh, swimming with sea turtles in Curacao. Save, save those turtles. They don't have turtles. Save those turtles. Save those turtles. At least, at least until I get to Curacao and get to get to snorkel with them. At least, at least for the next week and a half, to uh, till I can uh, swim with those turtles. No, I used to be a wicked sinner. I've said that time and time and time again. I used to be a wicked sinner, but I have had my past sins washed through the shed blood of Jesus Christ, and now I take up my cross daily and I. I follow him. That's what I do. That's what everyone is commanded to do. Everyone is commanded to obey Jesus or uh, or you'll end up in hell. That's it. It's his universe. It's his rules. Live it, love it, or lump it. Jesus said, Jesus said, uh, he who has my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me, and he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. That is it. That is it. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. The Bible says, nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. All right, let's see these signs here for an instant. No, don't legalize that. Is that supposed to be pot? Or is that, or is that a buckeye? Or is that a buckeye? I can't, bad drawing. Uh, no. No, listen up, folks. Uh, it ain't I read to smoke the ganja, man. It ain't I read to smoke the ganja. It ain't I read to smoke the ganja. Well, yeah, poison ivy's on the earth, too. Why don't you pack your bong with that and smoke it? Yeah, cow, man cow manure. Cow manure is on the earth, too. Why don't you, why don't you uh, roll a joint full of cow manure and smoke that since it's on the earth? You See, now, I don't understand why he spent time making that sign. What is his sign over there? No, not that one. I'm talking about his cardboard sign. Why? How bad is the food on campus that he made that sign over there? How bad is the food on campus? You, you are what you eat. Yes, you are what you eat. Like, if, everyone's wasn't in, no, yeah, but if everyone's interpretation is different, how do you know that, like, like, do you, do you know what I'm saying? Like, with well, like yoga, yoga pants, yoga pants. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do there's, you, do you there is no really verse. Really believe that? There's no verse specifically about yoga pants in the Bible. Uh, you'd have to be reading a pretty modern version for yoga pants to appear. But uh, Jesus did. Uh, the, well, the Bible does say that a godly woman will dress with modest apparel. The Apostle Paul said that to Timothy. Uh, a, a godly woman will dress with modest apparel. So yoga pants aren't uh, aren't modest apparel. Actually, actually yoga pants yoga pants are, are even uh, you know a, a girl who wants to be immodest. They're kind of cheating. 
because yoga pants actually make them make them look sexy and and even better than they actually do. Yoga pants hides a lot of like cellulite and flab so and stuff. So like yoga pants, uh, yeah, yoga, uh, pornography, pornography is wicked. Jesus, Jesus said, well, Jesus said. What do you recommend Je that women wear when they're trying to be comfortable? Well, you can be comfortable without, without, ha yoga pants, yoga pants basically look like you were dipped in paint. Uh, so uh, they do. Actually, actually even better, because if you were dipped in paint, your cellulite and flab and stuff would still show. But yoga, women love yoga pants because it, it tightens and tones their legs better than they actually look. Like, what about but, uh, working out? What would you say that, like, what well, you know, if that's, like, the best type of attire? Yeah, if you're, uh, if you're working out, uh, if you're working out at home, you know, yeah, you could wear yoga pants if you're working out at home. Or, you know, with all women, heterosexual women, you know, you could, uh, you could probably wear yoga pants and all that's fine. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, don't go out in public wearing so, tiny little tight shorts I or yoga it. pants because uh, because it's immodest. What's that? What kind of clothes does your wife wear? She wears modest. She dresses modestly, yeah. Which entails what? Uh, uh, clothing that actually would make someone look at her face and want to get to know her personally because of her sparkling personality, not, uh, you know, want to say, hey, you know, hey, for a middle-aged woman, you still have a hot butt. You know, hey, my wife's really sexy. My wife is very, very uh, gorgeous, sexy woman, and uh, I don't want her dressing immodestly because other guys would get turned on, you know? So, uh, so I'm lucky. I'm lucky. My wife dresses modestly. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. There's no point. He already knows that loving the neighbor is not a part of his belief. No, this is very loving. Yeah, very loving. Um, I don't think saying that is about to burn in hell yes. is loving. No, well, then take it up with Jesus, because he's, 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 he's the one who coined the phrase hellfire. Jesus spoke more about hell than anyone else in the Bible. Jesus spoke more about hell than he did about, about uh, love, more than he uh, talked about heaven. Jesus Christ is the one who spoke, tells us more about hell than anyone else in the Bible. Jesus said, do not fear him who can kill your body and afterwards do no more. Fear him who can kill your body and afterwards cast your soul into hell. Yes, Jesus said, fear him. So fear God and uh, understand that uh, if you die as an unrepentant sinner, you'll spend eternity in hell. But you didn't have to be there. The Bible says that God does not take pleasure in the destruction of the wicked, but that they would turn and live. Turn, turn for why should you die. Also with God is a balance. Like, yes, he's an angry and he's a vengeful God yeah. when we don't listen and we don't right. respect his laws. But he's also a loving and a That's forgiving right. God. And so, like, yeah, once you're saved, once you're not always saved and you need to be constantly repenting for what you're doing. But like, like it says, everyone does sin every day because we're sinners in our nature. We sin was brought into this world because of Adam and Eve and everyone does it every day. But it's something that... No, not everybody does. sins every day. That's, everyone No, the Bible never says that. Every no. Day. No, you well, can't blame what the Bible you says, can't but it's a fact. Right. Where everyone How do you know? You don't know everyone across the globe and what's every going on in their heart. On this earth has sinned at least once and whether they have been saved or not if they are, they repent every day. If they should, because most yeah, they should. Repent. That's right. That's true. It's just well, not everybody. Now, I I think the case actually could be made whether or not there's five people in the Bible that you actually could make a case for. See, I thought see, I thought this was a place of higher education, but this is this is this is somebody who's you know whose dad's wasting a lot of money on tuition, you know, for someone who's going to end up working at Starbucks, you know, after after incurring about ninety thousand dollars worth of debt, he's going to be spent. Take a look at take a look at your barista here who's ninety thousand dollars in debt in a few years but uh i think a case could be made let's let's take a look at uh, someone like job um could i trust you to hold my camera all right do you want me to record you uh yeah it's already recording just kind of point it in the right direction whatever let's take a look at job uh oops hold on a second all right uh so let's let's make a case. Were there any? Was there anybody? I don't know. Is there anybody who lived their entire life without sinning? Let's let's at least look at a few that might. Uh, it says in Job, there was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job, and that man was perfect and upright, and one that feared God and eschewed evil. So it describes Job as someone who was perfect and upright. Uh, let's take a look at uh, John the Baptist and uh, his parents, Zachariah and uh, um, Elizabeth. 
and it says, uh, there was in the days of Herod and of King Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the course of Abiah and his wife uh, and his wife was of the daughters of Aaron and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. So it says, it says specifically there that Zacharias and Elizabeth followed all of his commandments blamelessly. A case could be made. We don't know what the rest of their life is. This man profiled me because I'm brown. It also says that John the Baptist was. Uh, I wonder if he uh, knows. John the Baptist was filled with the Holy Spirit from birth. Yeah. Um, and uh, and uh, so he was filled with the Holy Spirit from birth. And also Jesus even said that of all people born of woman, none was greater than John the Baptist. So actually, uh, Jesus put John the Baptist ahead of all other uh, of all other people everywhere. So uh, um, so. I think, you know, a case could be made, but hold on a second.